Hello again, here we will start by seeing key concepts about OpenCV and face recognition. This is the boring part, but we need this to understand the code. Then we will install OpenCV, do the code to detect faces successfully, and then we will use another picture that is not so perfect and we will see problems that can arise. Because I am not an expert on this subject, I will not solve the problem, but I will point out possible exploration points. Okay. And the boring part, concepts about OpenCV. It means open source computer vision library and it was built to provide a common infrastructure for computer vision applications. It has a lot of optimized algorithms for computer vision and machine learning. This is very cool, right? And about face recognition. Recognize a face is not a simple task, so there is no simple test that will tell us if it found a face. The algorithm must break the task of identifying a face into thousands of smaller tasks known as classifiers. For face recognition, you might have thousands of classifiers and all of them must pass to finally detect a face. I could go on and on. If you want, you can pause the video and read all of these. I prefer to explain these in another way. Okay, so let's restart. At school, we had, for example, for a specific subject, one test with some questions and if we pass the first test we are able to do a second test. This test is a little more difficult than the previous one. Okay, If we pass the second test we can do a third test and so on. Okay, So for OpenCV every question in a test can be seen as a classifier and every test itself can be seen as a cascade. Okay, So every question is a classifier and the whole test is a cascade. Of course, a group of tests are cascades. For us to pass a test, there is no need to answer all the questions correctly. For example, for example, we need 70%, at least 70% of the answers to be correct, so we can move to the next test. OpenCV do the same thing. It has an error gap, which means that in a cascade, there is no need for all the classifiers to pass, so it can move to the next cascade. Also, dividing these in cascades is a very very good strategy because it avoids to do all the tests for every block in the image. That's why nowadays is possible to do face recognition in real time. Now we know that OpenCV will run cascades on small blocks in the image searching for faces. For example, we have this image and it will start here in this block. We have here something that is similar to a face, but then it finds out it is just a cloud in another cascade. Okay, so it fails and then moves to the next block. It fails and fails again and fails again and fails again and finally a face was found. Why? Because all the cascades just pass. Okay, in code, cascades are just just XML files like this crazy file with crazy numbers. Okay, this is biometric data, and you don't need to worry about this. Okay, one final thing in real world, we have tests for math, for biology, and for physics, and in computer vision, we have cascades for apples, for cars, for faces, and so forth. Okay, in this video, we will use a cascade just for faces. Okay, knowing this, let's do the code. To install OpenCV, we type pip install openCV-python. Hit enter. OpenCV was successfully installed, so we can close this. I already have the path for the image that we will use, kpop1.jpg, and the path for our cascades that will detect faces. The first thing that we need to do is import cv2, okay? Then we need to load the image. We declare an image that is equals to cv2 dot im read for image read, and we pass the path for the image, image path. Then 
then we need to load the cascade. So we declare a face cascade that is equals to cv2 dot cascade classifier and we provide the path for the cascade. Okay. The next step is converting the image to grayscale because it's easy for the algorithm to find faces. Let me go a little down and we declare a variable called gray that is equals to cv2 dot cvt color and we provide the image and also cv2 dot color underscore bgr to gray. Let me paste here some codes that will show you the image, the original image and the grayscale image. Okay, I am calling cv2 dot image show. Okay, and let me open the terminal. We type pi face rec dot pi it enter and now we are seeing the original image and if I close these the grayscale image too. Okay, let me close these. Let me close the terminal and let me erase this code because we don't need these for now. Okay, so let's detect the faces. For that we need to declare a faces that is equals to face cascades dot detect multi scale. We need to provide the gray image. Okay, and also a scale factor that is equals to one dot one. Also mean neighbors that is equals to five mean size of the square that is equals to a tuple with the values. 30 and 30 and finally we need to provide a parameter called flags that is equals to cv2 dot cascade underscore scale underscore image. These faces is a list and if we print the len of the faces of this list we will know how many faces the algorithm found. Also we want to draw a rectangle over the faces so let me go here and paste some code that will draw the rectangle. So every face will return a tuple that is x y w and and h. x and y for the starting position, w for the width, h for the height and then we call cv2 dot rectangle. We pass the original image because we want to draw in the original image. We pass the starting point x and y, the ending point x plus width and y plus height. We pass a RGB value. This is a green rectangle and a thickness for the rectangle. Okay. Finally, we want to show the image. So let me go a little down and paste here the code for that and open the terminal and run this again so we can see the result. And this is what the algorithm found. We have here four faces. Okay. Let me close the image. Close the terminal. Now let's try with another picture where it will fail. Instead of using kpop1 we will use kpop2.jpg. Open the terminal and run this again and we've got this result. It found four faces successfully. These faces. This girl is missing and well this is not actually a face. Okay. Let me close these and just for you to see here where we call detect multi scale we can change the scale factor instead of being 1.1 it can be 1.2 we run this again and now we got this result we still don't find the missing girl but at least this area is not a face why the algorithm can't find here a face because this girl have too much background light and because of that the algorithm can't find the face I will not solve the problem because I am not an expert on this subject at least yet but I will point out a way that I think is the way to solve this problem okay I will close this and I will close the terminal and let's go a little up and we will put some code here in this area let me paste here the code after the grayscale we are applying a function to the image again and it will change the image. I cannot explain this function. Okay. It will highlight contrast of the image. Let me put some code before applying the function to show the image before and let me put some code to show the image after applying this function. 
Okay, let me open the terminal and run this again. This is the image in grayscale and this is the result of applying this function. Okay, as you can see this area is a little bit more easy to see, even for us humans is better. Okay, unfortunately it's not enough. The algorithm still don't find here the face. I believe this can be the way to help the algorithm finding the face, the missing face, changing here the parameters or even using another function or you can use another well-trained cascade. Okay, a better cascade for this problem. Okay, this is the end. You can find in the description of this video a link to download the source code. Also, you will find other links to help you understand this even more. If you find the video helpful, please share with your friends and give it a like. It will help me. These two small actions will help me a lot. And as always, thank you for watching.